Hello. I see just two people joining. Hi, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Good evening. Good, day. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? How was the weekend? How was the fin de semana? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. Good weekend. Hey, good. That's nice. Muy bien, bien. So, espero que hayan tenido un muy good buen evening. fin de semana. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. That's nice. Good espero day, que hayan everyone. tenido. Good evening. Espero hayan tenido un bonito fin de semana, un buen inicio de semana. Y pues gracias por estar a tiempo en su clase. Espero que hayan practicado con la plataforma. Eh, un par estuvieron preguntando por ahí. Espero que pues sigan avanzando con sus ejercicios y cualquier cosa pues pregunten para poderles ayudar. Para ahora vamos a empezar con el video de pronunciación de going to, que fue el tema que empezamos la semana pasada. Eh, hablando sobre planes con going to. Eh, vamos a empezar con eso. Tema de pronunciación y luego vamos a estar practicando. Vamos a compartir pantalla entonces. Yes, reduction of going to. Vamos a escuchar y luego vamos a practicar este tema. Now, natural, when talking about future plans by reducing be going to. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. As I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation, pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear Ghana instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, so that was about pronunciation. Any question about this? Tienen alguna pregunta con lo que acabamos de ver en el video? Teacher, el gana o gana. Es lo mismo que going to, nada más que dicho más eh, en una forma corta o reducida, como dice en el video, es la reducción. El significado no varía. Esto es nada más para sonar más natural. Ahorita, si no sienten que, si no se sienten cómodos diciendo gonna or are you gonna have a party porque sienten que se van a trabar, that's okay, no problem. Si vamos a hablar de planes y quiero preguntarle, 
Eh, ¿Vas a ir a comprar este fin de semana? Are you going to go shopping this weekend? O puede decir, are you going to go? Are you going to go shopping this weekend? Pero es práctica. Eso es nada más para sonar más natural. Y lo pueden ir eh, repitiendo y repitiendo hasta que se sientan cómodos haciendo la pronunciación en forma reducida de going to y pronunciarlo como gonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. If, they say, if I say I, I gonna go, is the same meaning I gotta go? Um, veamos si es... Um, Gonna go. Ese es que escucho y el otro es gotta. I gotta go. Gotta go. Así como se lo escribí, me pregunta. Ya. Yeah. Eh, sí, eso es diferente. Si digo gonna go, es voy a ir. I gonna go. Pero si digo I gotta go, es me tengo que ir. I gotta go. Me tengo que retirar. I gotta go. Uh -huh. es, es diferente el voy a ir como de, ajá, de ir y el otro es retirarse uh -huh. irse pero retirarse el gotta go ese es retirarse me retiro me voy gotta go. I gotta go. me tengo que ir uh -huh. sometimes it's very it's sometimes it's very complicated to understand uh, the two the two phrases, right? Yes, because they are similar. It's been bien similar. Yeah. Decir, gonna go, you gotta go. Gonna, gotta. Because gonna, you let it gotta. Gotta. Es como de afinar bastante el oído con eso. And sometimes I heard that uh, sometimes the American people says, he might be. Is the same gonna, right? I might be. Yeah. Is it formal or slang? like this? Ay, espéreme que le puse minúsculo. El I siempre va mayúsculo. I might be. Ese? Might be? Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, yes. No. Hey. Ima. Oh. Ima. Ima B. I heard that it, the meaning is. Is the same meaning like gonna? It might be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can be like informal. But yes, it's possible as well. Y hay muchas cosas que se van aprendiendo como, me imagino que usted tiene contacto o, o trata con personas americanas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. Ahí se va aprendiendo, es muy importante el contacto, la práctica y así pues uno aprende, mucho aprende. Es bueno que se fijen cosas así y traten de investigar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa? ¿Por qué? O a veces la misma gente le ayuda a uno. Hay gente muy buena. Any other question or comment about this topic? Ok, si no hay preguntas, entonces pasamos a practicarlo. Les voy a poner el audio dos veces para que ustedes puedan repetir. Les voy a dar pausa para darles chancecito, porque eso es muy importante. Primero escuchar y después repetir, imitar lo que están escuchando para um, poder asimilar mejor, ¿verdad? Para no hablar al mismo tiempo que escuchamos la grabación. Eso puede ser contraproducente, así que tranquilos, les voy a pausar para que primero escuchen y después repitan. Ok, esto es lo que acabamos de ver en la plataforma. Vamos a escuchar y repetir en casa. Page 73, exercise 4, pronunciation. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant?
Yes, we're going to go to Nick's cafe. Page 73, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Reduction of Going To Part A. Listen and Practice Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. All right, so it's not really complicated. And to continue with this topic, vamos a hacer este ejercicio eh, para practicar las yes no questions como la que vieron ahí. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Solo que pues estas ya son, eh, son diferentes y la dinámica se llama find someone who. Vamos a encontrar a alguien que vaya a hacer estas cosas que están aquí. Pueden practicar pronunciación. It's going to... Pero me voy a bajar esto que no veo. La primera. It's going to go shopping tomorrow. It's going to get married soon. It's going to do exercise tomorrow. He's going to get a haircut next week. He's going to eat ice cream today. He's going to play with an animal tomorrow. He's going to travel to another country soon. Is going to get up very late tomorrow. Is going to read a book or magazine tonight. Is going to visit a friend this weekend. Preguntas del vocabulario. No hay preguntas sobre el vocabulario. No questions. Bueno, como no hay preguntas, les voy a explicar la actividad. Los voy a unir en grupo para que encuentren a alguien que vaya a desarrollar estas actividades. ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Tienen que preguntar. Por ejemplo, en la primera. Who is going to go shopping tomorrow? En el grupo tenemos que encontrar a alguien que vaya a ir de compras mañana. Para eso yo le tengo que preguntar a la persona. Digamos que en el grupo tengo a Byron. Yo empiezo y le pregunto, Byron, are you going to get... Um, espérenme que estoy viendo la otra. Byron, are you going to go shopping tomorrow? No, I'm not going to go. Ok, so you're not going to go shopping tomorrow. Entonces Byron le pregunta a Araceli, Araceli, are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Pregúntele, Byron. Araceli, are you going to shopping tomorrow? Yes, I'm going tomorrow to shopping. Ok, entonces ya encontramos, eh, Araceli va a ir a comprar, entonces ya podemos pasar a la siguiente pregunta, ya, ya encontramos a alguien que va a ir de compras mañana. Entonces ya vamos, Araceli podría ir con la siguiente preguntándole a, veamos a alguien más que esté en el grupo, Araceli le podría preguntar a Oscar, Oscar, are you going to get married soon? 
No. Oscar. Uh -huh. Oscar. Yes. <laughs> Who is going to get uh, married soon? No se le escucha, Oscar. Creo que tiene el micrófono deshabilitado. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I am going. I, I am not going to get married soon. Ok, so Oscar ya le podría preguntar a alguien más en el grupo. Y así, si no encuentran a nadie, pues that's ok, no hay problema. Nadie en el grupo se va a casar pronto. Entonces vamos a la siguiente. Are you, acuérdense, tienen que hacer la pregunta. Mencionar a la persona y hacerle la pregunta. Es decir, eh, Araceli, are you going to, vea. Y pueden tomar notas. Por ejemplo, si Araceli, Araceli dijo que va a ir a, a comprar, entonces ahí sí hacemos la oración y decimos, Araceli is going to go shopping eh, tomorrow. Y así haciendo para que practiquen speaking and writing. ¿Estamos claros con las instrucciones? Thumbs up. Ok, thank you. Entonces lo voy a poner en grupo. Esta es la misma presentación que les mandé la semana pasada. Ahí la tienen en el WhatsApp. Y igual pueden mandar una captura para los que no, no la tengan disponible. Pero a mí no me responde el mouse. Dios, se le acabó la batería. ¿Qué le pasó? Pues yo creo que yo me quedé congelada. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ok, creo que es mi internet o algo está pasando por aquí. Me chancecito. Que no responde el mouse ni nada, qué raro. Se quedó trabado. The connection is on the stable currently for the winter. No, the yes. Wind. Mm -hmm. For wind. For the wind. Eso está pasando probablemente. Ok, vamos a ir a los rooms, ya sé. Ya se estabilizó esto. Ok. Let's go and practice in rooms. Eh, va a jugar con un animal, ¿verdad? Mañana me dice, ¿verdad? No. Vas a ir de compras, ¿es? Are you going to shopping tomorrow? Ah, es la, la pregunta. Número uno. Ah, shopping tomorrow. I'm going to go to shop. Shopping tomorrow, me dice. Are you going yes. to go shopping tomorrow? ¿Alguien puede compartir pantalla por acá para que puedan tener visible el archivo y sea más fácil? Ah, ahí está. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces ahí pueden comenzar con la primera pregunta. Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Going to go. Okay. Henry. Hola, hello. Uh, yes, I am going to um, my family. Oh, okay. I am going to go shopping. I am complete. I am going to go shopping with my family. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Repeat, please. I'm yes, going, I, I am I'm, going to go shopping. Yes, I yes, I am I am going to go 
bueno, eh, sería eh, yes, I am going to my family to go shopping tiene que mencionarla aquí ah, perdón, uh -huh. perdón, to go shopping my family with, with my family with my family uh -huh. y ya pueden anotar ustedes Henry is going to go shopping is going to is going y ya pueden seguir con la pregunta siguiente. Henry le puede preguntar um, a Fátima. Fátima, are you going to get married soon? No, I don't no, girl. No, I am not. No, I am not going, going. to get uh, married soon. Uh -huh. Ok, Fátima, entonces pregúntele a otra persona. Eh, le puede preguntar a Rosa, Rosa, are you going to get married soon? Y así hasta que lo encuentren. Si ya pasan por todos y no encuentran a alguien que se va a casar pronto, entonces pasan. Ok, Rosa, are, are you going to get married soon? Mm. No, I am going not tomorrow. Sería no, I am not going to get married soon. Okay. Ahora usted pregunta. ¿Alguien más? Este, uh, Laura. Laura, I'm going to get a. Uh, are you going to? To get a exercise tomorrow? No, pero creo que si seguimos con Mary hasta que encontremos a alguien y si no, seguimos con la siguiente. Así es. Uh -huh. ya, este, Laura, are you going to get a hard, hard cut? No. Next. No, tiene que ser la misma pregunta de si nos vamos a casar pronto. Are you going to get married? Mary song? Uh -huh. No, I am not going to get married soon. Ahora lo pregunto. Eh, César, are you going to get married soon? No, I'm not going to get married. Married soon. Uh, Fatima, are you going to get married soon? No, I am not get married soon. I am not going to get. I am not going to get married soon. Ahora usted pregunta. Pero como a mí ya me lo hicieron, entonces ya cambiaremos en la siguiente, ¿verdad? Sí, ya tendremos que Cambiémosla porque, ajá, tal vez no vamos a encontrar, cambiémosla. Ajá, entonces sería con usted, Laura. Are you going to do exercise tomorrow? Yes, I am going to do exercise tomorrow. Ahora, Janet, are you going to get a haircut next week? So we will continue with the last uh, questions or we'll change? Ahorita tiene que responder. Yeah, I know. But I listened to that ask about her cute. Ahora tiene que hacer la misma pregunta si dice no. Alguien más? Falta Manuel. Manuel, are you going to get a haircut next week? Yes, uh, I am going to to get a haircut next week. Ahora usted pregunta, hace, hace la okay. siguiente. Ok, uh, so, uh, Fátima creo que falta. No, Sería, creo no. yo. 
No, Henry fue el primero. Yes. Fátima también ya fue. Buena ah, pregunta. Bueno. Ah, pues al azar. Ok. Pues eh, Laura, ya que está ahí. <ríe> eh, Laura, are, are you going to eat this ice cream today? No, I am not going to eat ice cream today. Vamos ahora, este. Rosa, are you going to eat ice cream today? No, I'm not going to eat ice cream today. Señora. Dile, Rosa. Uh -huh. Are you. Again? Fátima, are you going to eat ice cream today? No, I am not going to eat ice cream today. Mm, con Janet, are you going to eat ice cream today? No, I'm not going to eat ice cream today. Okay. So... No one. Henry o Manuel. Yes. Henry. Are you going to play with an animal tomorrow? I eh, perdón, perdón, perdón. No, I am going to I'm going to I am not I I'm going to, I'm not I'm not going to, going to eh, me preguntó la tercera, ¿verdad? Perdón. Play, Play with, with animal, animal tomorrow. tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow. Ah, perdón. No. Uh, I am not. No, I, I am not going to play with uh, and? Any, um, tomorrow. Ahora usted hágale esa misma pregunta a, a Manuel. A Manuel, ok. Eh, que sería are you, eh, Manuel, Manuel. Uh -huh. are you going to play eh, no perdón uh, are, ¿Sí, sí? Sí, sí, Manuel sí. Are, are you going to yeah, eh, play yeah, yeah. play 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 correcto parece que está, se, se corta el audio disculpen Manuel, uh, are you going to do? Es, es la tercera, ¿verdad? No, la. Ah, perdón, perdón. perdón. La Manuel, sexta. La sexta. Perdón. Manuel, are you going to play way and um, um, tomorrow? Yes, I. I going to I going to play with my dog tomorrow. My dog tomorrow. Okay. Ahora este pregunta, Manuel. Mm, next question. Yes. Uh, César. Okay. A César. Okay. Quizás. Okay, César. Are Are you going to travel to another country soon? No. Yes. We have no money yeah. to. No, I'm not going to travel to another country soon. Uh, Laura, are you going to travel to another country soon? No, I am not going to travel to another country soon. Uh, Fatima, no, Rosa, are you going to travel to uh, another country soon? No, I am now going to travel to another country soon. Este, Janet, are you going to travel to another country soon? No, I am not going to travel to another country soon. No, we have no money. <laughs> Sigue, Janet. 
Yes, I am looking for someone. Rosa Elba. Uh, are you going to travel to another country soon? No. No, I am not to travel to another country soon. Vamos a cambiar a otra entonces. Este, Laura, are, are you going to get, get up very late tomorrow? No, I am not going to get, I am not going to get up very late tomorrow. Um, Henry, are you going to get up very late tomorrow? Uh, I, I am not. No, I am no, not. No, no, I am not. Going to. Going to Jerry. Get up. Get up very late tomorrow. Ahora usted hace esa misma pregunta. Ok. Eh, le digo a Laura. Ah, no, perdón, perdón. Eh, Manuel. Are you, uh, are you going to? Are you going to? Get up. Get up very late tomorrow. Yes, I am. I am going to get get up very late tomorrow. Uh, uh, Cesar, Cesar, are you going to read a book or or magazine tonight? Yes, I'm going to read a book or magazine tonight. Uh, Janet. Are you going to visit a friend this weekend? Yes, I'm going to visit a friend this weekend. Okay. Continue with Fatima. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, are you going to shopping tomorrow? No, I am not going to shopping tomorrow. Laura, are you going to shopping tomorrow? Yes, I am going to go shopping tomorrow. Mm. Fatima, are you going to get... No, saltemos esa porque no la, ya no la encontramos. Fatima, are you going to do exercise tomorrow? Yes, I am going to exercise tomorrow. Tomorrow. Rosa, are you going to get a haircut next week? No, I'm not going to get a haircut next week. Manuel, are you going to eat ice cream today? No, I am not going to eat ice cream today. Um, Henry, are you going to play with an um, animal tomorrow? That's the same, right? Yes. Yes. Um, no, uh, I am not going to play with um and then tomorrow uh, um, Cesar ya pasó Cesar yeah, yeah. ok uh, Rosa tal vez Rosa, Rosa perdón uh, are you going to are you going to, uh, to busy Friday to this weekend? Mm, no, I'm not 
going to visit a friend this weekend. Manuel, are you going to get up very, very late tomorrow? Yes, I am. I am going to get up very late tomorrow. And Janet, are are you going to to exercise tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to do exercise tomorrow. So who we'll continue, Cesar? Are you going to get a haircut next week? Yes, I'm going to get a haircut next week. Uh, Manuel, are you going to eat ice cream today? No, I am, I am not going to eat ice cream today. Laura, are you going to travel to another country soon? Yes, I am going to travel to another country soon. Uh, Fatima, are you going to get up very late tomorrow? No, I am not going to get up very late tomorrow. Rosa, are you going to get up very late tomorrow? No, I'm not going to get up shopping tomorrow. En estos casos también podríamos implementar lo que estaba explicando ella del Gona. Sure, if you feel comfortable, si, si se sienten cómodos haciendo, lo pueden hacer. Are you gonna? Uh -huh. Are you gonna play? Uh, so are you gonna? Are you gonna, gonna get married soon? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Fatima, are you gonna? Go shopping tomorrow? Repeat, please. I can hear you. ¿Cómo les fue con el ejercicio? ¿Cómo se sintieron? Very hard. Very hard. Ok. Anybody else? Very funny. Very funny. Ok. Another opinion. It what is the correct answer, right? Mm -hmm. It's what. Okay, it was, it was yes. funny. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so para algunos fue difícil, algo otros encontraron divertido. Es muy bueno saber que se están divirtiendo eh, y pues 
para los que lo sintieron difícil, ese es el reto. Porque ahorita eh, quise un ejercicio en el que ustedes produzcan, no un libreto dado, ¿verdad? Sino que ustedes empiecen a producir sus propias respuestas. Si les preguntan, ¿te vas a cortar el pelo? En mi caso, no. Creo que no. <laughs> next week, no. At least next week, no. And uh, no, I'm not going to get a haircut next week. Are you going to visit your friends next week? Yes, I am going to visit my friend next weekend. Y así que ustedes empiecen a producir, a preguntar, a responder esas interacciones más naturales, no tanto de un libreto, una conversación solo lea y repita. Porque no siempre, bueno, no es así. Entonces ya van para un preintermedio después de este. Entonces tienen que empezar a hablar un poquito más. Eh, no solo practicar conversaciones ya dadas, sino que producir y practicar un poquito más. Y esa era la idea. Y si pues con eso se divierten, excelente. Mucho que mejor. <ríe> ok, so eh, vamos a seguir practicando. Tenemos todavía un par de videos de la sección 1. Mañana estaríamos terminando la sección 1. Me falta un poquito más. Vamos a ver con lo de los holidays para seguir practicando este tema del going to. Otra, otra vez. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, so en este ejercicio se nos sugiere hacer un pequeño párrafo en el cual podamos um, compartir planes que tengamos para estos futuros holidays uh, que tenemos. Ahorita creo que el más cercano es la Semana Santa, ¿verdad? So you may write, um, a holiday is going to be on April 10th, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to work, but also I'm going to cook special food for my family. We're going to visit some friends in the weekend, etc. So you can uh, write about your plans for this coming holiday. That can be about the Holy Week or probably Mother's Day. If you have a special plans for Mother's Day, you can share with us. Pueden compartir algo pequeño, así como vieron el ejemplo de la plataforma acerca de cualquiera de estos holidays que vienen. Vamos a... ¿Preguntas con esto? No questions. 
Um, please repeat the video. Going to please. invite my wife. Uh, okay. Eh, que quisiera ver específicamente la parte del ejemplo. To a special yes, restaurant. Please. Okay. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use. Okay. Ahí está el ejemplo. Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Algo así similar, cualquier holiday que esté cercano. Les voy a dar unos, que unos dos minutos o tres para que hagan algo así cortito. Ok, volunteers to share. Tenemos voluntarios para compartir lo que escribieron. Ay, teacher. Ay. Okay, vamos a ver, no vi las manitas, pero escuché dos voces. Ladies first, empecemos con la chica, no sé quién era, no vi manitas. Ay, teacher. Ay, am Elsie. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Eh... And first, I have a question. Holy Friday is a the hour? Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it is Holy Week, that can be the Holy Friday. <laughs> uh -huh. Is the Easter, no? Okay. Yeah. And Holy Friday is going to be on April 15th. I am going to rest and I am going to cook fish. Is that correct? Excellent. You did a very nice job. Excellent. I saw Kenny's hand. Vi a Kenny por ahí que levantó la manita. Hello. Okay, Kenny. Okay. 
Mother's Day is going to be on May 10th. 10th? What is 10th? 10th. Mm -hmm. I am going to visit my grandmother with my family and eating special food for her. Awesome. Very nice job, Kenny. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Hi. Okay, Araceli. Uh, my husband's birthday on March 8th. I am going to celebrate in the beach. Christmas is going to be on December. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's a nice plan. Anybody else? Christian? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, Christmas is going to be on December uh, 25th. I'm going to visit my grandparents in the suburbs. All right. Awesome. Nice plan. Anybody else? Alguien más? Hey, teacher. Okay. Uh, Mother's Day is going to be on May on May 10th. I am going to give a serenade. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Oscar? Uh, on Mother's Day, I'm going to take my mom to diner whatever she wants. Whatever, sorry. Whatever she wants. Okay, excellent. What is your mother's special or uh, favorite uh, food? Let's see. Oh, if I remember, she likes uh, she liked fish. Fish. I don't uh. know why, because I don't like fish. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Yes. In yes, Father's Day, I'm going to celebrate uh, my daughter's birthday. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Me. Nobody? Me, me. Sure. Okay. Yeah. In one day, it's going to be May 10th, going to buy rose for mom. What color of roses are you going to buy? Red? Red roses. Yeah, that's a good option. They yeah. are beautiful. <laughs> okay, good job. Anybody else? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. The the birthday day, uh, my father is going to be on June, March seventh, and mm -hmm. I going to invite invite my father and my grandfather for to a restaurant in Lake Watepeque Lake. Okay, nice job. Invite. So you're going to invite, invite your, mm -hmm, your okay. father and grandfather to the Quatepeque Lake. That's nice, very nice. Teacher, mm -hmm. she she should invite us. She invite. Should, she should invite us. Oh, be, yeah, because it's his, it's her father and her grandfather. <laughs> I think it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, now, the next thing that we are going to do is to practice asking yes, no questions. Um, vamos a hacer un par de yes, no question. Para mañana vamos a empezar con las WH questions. Entonces, vamos a hacer una práctica ahora. Acuérdense que primero va B. Cuando decimos be, significa am, is, or are. Eh, luego de poner be, ¿qué va? Para pregunta. Sí. 
subject. 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 Mm -hmm. Then. Going to. Okay, going to. Okay, then. The verb. The verb, the action. Mm -hmm. Complement. Complement. Okay, and finally, the complement. And put a question mark at the end, right? Just. Uh, Okay, so specific questions like, uh, for example, you can say, um, are you going to, um, are you going to take your mother out um, for dinner to a fancy restaurant. What is fancy? Excuse me. Um, like luxury, elegante. Mm -hmm. Elegante. Are you going to take your mother out to for dinner to a fancy restaurant? They can be one. Uh, y puede no, no hacer necesariamente una tan tan larga, tan específica, puede ser algo más sencillo. Um, are you going to buy uh, or are you going to buy presents for Christmas? Are you going to buy presents for Christmas? Are you going to decorate your house for Christmas? Specific question, right? No, Oscar, no. <laughs> Me too, Oscar. You neither. I don't, I don't like it to decorate. Do you like Christmas? It's very complicated. Yes. <laughs> I like the gift in Christmas. <laughs> so that's your favorite part for Christmas is presents. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, it's complicated. It's complicated decoration in my house for my baby. Oh, right. So you have a baby. Yeah, that can be a kind of complicated. All right. So specific questions. I would like for you to write at least two questions. Me gustaría que al menos escribieran dos preguntas que quisieran hacerle a sus compañeros o compañeras acerca de algún holiday que se les ocurra, algo específico. Um, are you going to eat turkey for Christmas? Podría ser, vas a comer pavo en las Christmas. Are you going to eat Christmas? Uh, uh, turkey, yes. Oscar <laughs> says turkey, yes. I like to eat turkey. I prefer to eat turkey instead of Instead of chicken. Instead of chicken. Okay. Yeah, you can eat chicken anytime during the year, but turkey is special for Christmas. So that, that makes it special. Fun is with turkey. <laughs> the bread with turkey. Yeah. Big. Big. King size. <laughs> At least one question, aunque sea una que hagan. Teacher, yes. How do you say Semana Santa in Holy, the English? Holy Week. Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Holy Week. Let me write it here. Uh, 
Okay, uh, anybody uh, would like to ask? Um... Teacher. Okay, Elsie, yes, um, that's a good question. Remember that after to, by el verbo. Who's going to go to the beach on Father's Day? Very good, Elsie. Um, volunteer, Oscar? Is this correct? Is this correct if I say is anyone go is anyone going to go swimming on vacation? That is completely correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a question for Araceli. Go ahead. Araceli, are you going to dance cumbia at Christmas? Yes. Yes, of course, I'm <laughs> going to dance. <laughs> shaking, yes. shaking. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Any other question? Um, are, mm -hmm. are you going to visit, visit church this weekend? Are you going to visit the church this weekend? ¿Para quién era la pregunta? You did. Ah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to visit the church this weekend. <gasps> no, I want you to be. <laughs> no, me lo veo en la tele. Yeah. <laughs> Todavía estoy aquí con miedo. Casi no salgo. Más que lo necesario. <laughs> okay. Any other question? Me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Kenny, are you going to be a sequel for Christmas? Um, singer. Sing. Be ah, a sequel. Okay. It's Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not. I am not singer Villancicos in Christmas. <laughs> okay, you didn't sing that so, those Teacher. Christmas carols. Uh -huh. Teacher, she prefers to sing in the karaoke too. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, like the Los Angeles Azul. <laughs> okay, awesome. So that's been a nice practice. Eh, me alegra que se hayan divertido. Eh, que les haya gustado la clase y la práctica. So, mañana vamos a seguir con más. Vamos con las WH questions y esperamos terminar la sección 1 para mañana. Gracias por unirse a la clase de hoy. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.